Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick recording showing how you can embed a PowerPoint show file, a PPSX file, uh, as a tab in your class team. Um, so unfortunately, a PowerPoint show file by default doesn't work in the web-based versions of PowerPoint. Um, so whereas if you have the desktop app, it'll open directly to full screen right into your slide experience. But if you were to try to download that PPSX file and uh, share it with someone using PowerPoint on the web or embed it as a team, for example, in your class team, when students go to access that, so I'm in a student view here in their class team, and as a teacher, I added it as a tab um, using the, uh, the file, which I'd upload to the team. When they go to access that, it is just going to load up like a regular, um, PowerPoint file where they're going to see the slide viewer um, and it does not launch into that full screen view. So let me show you what that looks like here. So if they click on that, you're going to see uh, it basically removes the uh, PowerPoint show functionality of that file and it loads up just like a regular PowerPoint would where they see the slide viewer, um, which may not be the experience you want. You might want to launch, launch them directly into that full screen view and, and limit in terms of the additional slides coming up that they can see. Now, I can still set this file that it's read only for the students, but again, that, that might not be the student you are, the experience you want for your students. So instead, what I want to show you is how you can um, create a SharePoint page, an additional SharePoint page that's associated with your class team. Um, by default, you get a SharePoint page created with the home page when you make a class team here, um, but you can add additional pages to that SharePoint. Um, and when you make a new page, you can add um, different web parts, including an embed uh, part in your SharePoint page. And using that embed part, you can actually use a PowerPoint embed uh, URL. And that is going to allow you to embed that directly into uh, that SharePoint page. And I'll show you what that would look like. So I've done that here in this tab next to it. And this is again, the student view. And when they click on that, this is the view they'll see. So it's gonna load up right into the full screen view of the slides. Um, and again, I'm directly in my class team here, so I can see my channels, I can see my post files, and now I can access um, this PowerPoint in that full screen view. And if I want, as a student, I can right click on this and expand the tab, so it'll take up the full real estate of the screen there. And in the um, PowerPoint show view, they can also just click to view full screen, and really quickly then have a nice full screen experience of your slides. So um, to do that as a teacher, I wanna show you how you can set that up. So what I would do here, I'm gonna to switch to my, um, my Microsoft Teams desktop app where I'm the teacher of this team. And so um, with that first option with the PowerPoint, uh, the PPSX file that we uploaded, I had simply added that to the file section of uh, one of my channels. Uh, I set this folder to be read only so that the students um, couldn't edit the file. And then I made this a tab. You can right click on any file or click on the three dots and say, make this a tab. And that created this option here. But again, as we saw, it's removing the PPSX, the PowerPoint show kind of capabilities of that file. So instead to set up this PowerPoint embed option, what we're gonna do is uh, open up the SharePoint associated with your class team. So if you haven't done that before, if you go to the file section, you can click on the three dots at the end of the menu in the file section, and you'll see this option to open in SharePoint. You can select that. It's gonna open up your default browser, which I'll bring over here. And you'll see in just a moment here when I bring that over. So you'll see that it loads up your, um, SharePoint associated with your class team. And again, this is like the back end of your class team. Everything that you store uh, in your team is, is housed here. Um, as I mentioned before, you do get a home page that's created with your team by default. You get folders within the document section um, that you'll have um, your associated with your different channels but you can add additional um, pages, um, an additional SharePoint page where we can embed this piece that I mentioned. So to do that, first we gotta check the settings of our SharePoint site and make sure that you can um, embed external content like this. And so to check that, 
you first are going to start off at site contents. And then once you're on the site contents page, as long as again, you're an owner of this SharePoint, when this comes up, we're going to see uh, a gear here on the right hand side that says site settings. So you can click on that. And then down in the options here where it says site collection administration, there's an option for HTML field security. And if you select that, this is going to bring up our options of what we can embed in this site. And depending on your organization's settings, um, some may be limited where you can only insert an iframe, an embedded uh, code from certain domains. And it's possible that like where you're storing your file, if it's in your, your SharePoint for your team or in your OneDrive, it may not be listed there. So you may have to switch this from allow contributors to insert iframes only from the following domains to the one above where it's allow contributors to insert iframes from any domain. Um, and again, as long as your team um, permissions are set with the default, only team owners will be able to add content anyways to the, to the site. So as long as that's set properly, I can go back. And once we're back on our SharePoint page here, you're gonna see one of the options in terms of your navigation along the top is you got this uh, tab that says pages. And we can click on pages. And once we're in this pages view, you're gonna see there's an option. By default, you always with a class team are gonna have this home um, SharePoint page that's created, but you can add additional ones. So at the top, just like kind of in your SharePoint files navigation menu, you have the option to say new. And in this case, we wanna add a new site page. So we can click site page. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've done with this one that I already created. So I just selected new site page and I can click on this one I've got here. And once you create your new site page, um, this is basically like a, an intranet and an internal website that um, your students would be able to access this page, but only members that are added to the team could access. Um, so on this page, what you can do is, first of all, we wanna set it into edit. So I can edit the content on this page. And then if you've used SharePoint pages before, it kind of looks just like a, um, like a basic web editor where you can add components into different sections. And so all I did to add this PowerPoint um, in its show view, this embedded view, uh, I, in this section here, I added a new column. And then you'll have a little toolbox on the right side of parts that you can add to your SharePoint page. And if you click on see all web parts, down at the bottom of the page, if you scroll down under advanced, there's this option to embed. And you can drag that embed box on to your SharePoint page and drop it. Um, and what this is, is allows you to yeah, embed a code um, for an external site, or in this case, the PowerPoint we wanna use. Now I've already done it with this one. So I'll, again, I'll show you here. Let me go back and show you what this looks like um, if I was editing it. So it's gonna allow you to um, paste in the URL um, for, for your embedded PowerPoint in this case, and then it will appear in this full PowerPoint uh, show view. So the way that you get that URL for the PowerPoint, if you haven't done that before, um, you can access your file. So I'm going to just go to my office.com homepage here. And I'm gonna bring up that PowerPoint that I want to embed in the, the student view. So it's this one here. And once that loads in the file tab under share, so I'll let that load up here. So under file, share, you're gonna see an option for embed where you're gonna get that code that you can paste into your uh, SharePoint web part. So it's under file, share, and in that menu, you see this option here, just below the options that you normally would use to share a link for the PowerPoint with people, you can also embed. You can only do this from the web-based version of PowerPoint. You won't see that in the desktop app. So make sure it's you know, stored in your OneDrive or in SharePoint. Uh, and then you can click embed this presentation. And there you get your embed code. This is the piece that we need. This is the, the code that again is gonna allow us to embed this um, nice PowerPoint show view directly into our page uh, for our students to access. So I can just go ahead and copy that text uh, and paste it. 
Well, we're gonna copy it to start. You can say copy. And then we're gonna go back to our uh, SharePoint page here that we're editing. And let me just show you if I was to add this again, kind of from scratch um, to demonstrate what that would look like. So if I add, I'll delete this block here. So if I was to add a web part and I'm gonna search for embed, there's my embed box. And this is what it looks like before you paste that embed code in. It's gonna say show content from a website using its code or the site URL. So I can say add embed code. And then when you click on that, it opens this little sidebar here, where now in this section, I just need to paste that um, embed code from my PowerPoint that's in my clipboard right now. So I can paste it in and that's it. And you can see that basically right away, it loads up here. It's gonna show you the preview of what that'll look like. This is a pretty big PowerPoint, so it takes a minute to load up this one. There's about 110 slides, I think, in that one, so it can take a bit of time. Um, but once that's done, you're going to click Republish. And so what you've just done is you've, you've made a new page on your SharePoint with this PowerPoint Live View embedded directly into it. And again, because this is part of your class team's SharePoint, um, your students are going to automatically be uh, granted access to see that page. So all I need to do is get the link specifically to this page. Um, I usually do that just under here where it says share and then copy link to page. It's gonna copy that link to your clipboard and it says people with existing access can use the link. So that means people who have been added to your team to have uh, permissions for that. And then your last step is just go into your class team and then we're gonna set up a new tab. Um, I'm going to do this here at the top. I'll, I'll delete the one I already created just to show you what that would look like. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. And one of the tabs types that you can add to uh, a tab in your class team is a SharePoint site. And it's here because I just used it most recently. But if you don't see that, you just type in SharePoint and you will see that. I can select uh, SharePoint. Um, I'm going to select, sorry, the first option for SharePoint and then I can indicate that it is a page. So under the uh, tabs here, you're gonna select pages, and you're gonna see that it's gonna find that um, page I just made. I, I titled it Embedded PowerPoint was the name of the SharePoint page I made. So that's the one there. I can select it if I wanna make it, have an automated post to the team about it, um, to the team you can. I'm gonna uncheck that in this case. So I've got my page that I wanna have as a tab selected, and click Save. It's gonna add that to the top here where it says embedded PowerPoint. And it's gonna load right up. And so you can see again, now your students are gonna have access to that as a tab right along the top. And again, the difference is that it's going to launch them directly into the PowerPoint show view like this, rather than seeing um, the full kind of PowerPoint view with the slide sorter, things like that. Um, it's gonna bring them directly into that full screen view when you select that option. So this was the first one, right? If we just added a file as a tab, but by making this page, we can have that nice experience. So I'm gonna delete this one for my students, remove that. And so now they can access the embedded content right along the top here. Uh, if I switch back to the student view, just to show you what that looks like. So here's one of the demo students that's been added to the class. I'll refresh the page because we deleted that tab and we added a new one. And uh, so once that's refreshed, we can click on that tab along the top and they're gonna have that nice uh, clean embedded PowerPoint live uh, or PowerPoint show view of the presentation. So we'll finish off just showing that. So I can click on this as the student. And we're gonna see that's gonna load up. And this way they can navigate and see your content right within the class team in this view. Again, if they want, they can expand the tab and have it take up you know, the majority of the screen and then they can use the slide uh, progression there or make it full screen if they like. So that's it, I just wanted to outline those steps. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to uh, reach out and contact me. Thanks.